Well, I've been in the islands for going on five years now, and um, it's kind of a bit of a funny story how I got here, but I'm from Canada, as you know, and so it's quite cold there. The winters are brutal. Uh, one morning, I was scraping ice off my car and about to drive an hour to get to work, and I got a random phone call um, asking if I'd like to come work in the Caribbean. I said, um, yes, I would. <laughs> and literally a week later, I was here. The ambiance here at Osley is very elegant, it's very upscale, it's something that you would expect in a major city anywhere in the world. Um, it's a bit of a surprise when you come to the Turks and Caicos you find a restaurant such as this. So most of the other restaurants here in the Turks and Caicos are open air restaurants so they're more outdoors um, or they're indoor and more traditional Caribbean style buildings. It's very um, romantic decor especially at night when the chandeliers are lit low and everything is candlelit. Uh, it's a very romantic setting and it's perfect for uh, sharing a date with a special someone. Today I'm going to be preparing for you our Osele Trio, which is three of our most favorite dishes on one plate. I'm going to start by making the Osele Trio plate. We've got the seared sea scallop. This is a diver scallop, beautiful large scallop. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a nice little seasoning. This is just going to go into the nice hot oil. Get a nice golden sear on that. Okay, well the scallop is working. I'm going to build the Caesar salad. This is sort of our version of the Caesar salad. It's a miniature salad wrapped in cucumber. This is just the heart of the romaine lettuce. Set the salad right on top, and then a little more dressing over the top of that. This dressing is very rich. It's got a lot of uh, anchovy, parmesan cheese, and our homemade mayonnaise. I'm just gonna garnish the salad with some cherry tomatoes, freshly shaved parmesan cheese, and these are our plantain crouton. Just finely cut plantain and then fry it until crispy. Whenever somebody gets a Caesar salad, they just can't believe that it's a Caesar salad. It just looks so different to what they're used to. Got a nice sear on the scallop. We're just gonna work on the other side now. While that's working, I've got my pistachio crust here. Just gonna put that right on top. This is just um, some ground up pistachios and some butter, basically. So I'm just gonna nap the scallop with the brown butter. Give it that nice sort of sweet flavor. You can see how that bubbles up, it's beautiful. Next up is the pumpkin soup, and it's sort of like a pumpkin cappuccino. And we've got the roasted pumpkin with the cumin and the local tamarind, so that's sort of our local component for this dish. And I'm gonna top that off with some cappuccino foam. There's our pumpkin soup. And then finally, this is our braised oxtail ravioli. So it's basically a slow-cooked oxtail, which is again a local component. And um, we just braise that with some cinnamon stick, red wine, and lots of great spices. So that's gonna complement the, the pumpkin soup really well. And there you go, that's our Osele trio. I really prefer the most simple kind of cooking. Um, I'm really focused on home-style cooking, but my main sort of thing here at Osele is we do a lot of Mediterranean infusion with Caribbean flavors. Um, I really prefer that style of cooking just because it's very simple dishes. Most of my dishes have less than five ingredients uh, and I really find that that brings out the flavor of, of what you're trying to showcase the best. As you can see it's beautiful red snapper from South Caicos. I'm just going to cut that into more reasonable portions. Well, I love working with the fresh seafood that we get here. Of course, it's it's an abundant of you know grouper and sna snapper, uh, lobster and conch, which are sort of the most indigenous fish to the islands. But we often get tuna, wahoo, uh, swordfish as well. That that is fished here. So it's kind of exciting for me, you know, when I get a big 200-pound tuna that I get to hack up and clean and and uh, get a nice fillet out of it. It's very rewarding. So here we have the Caicos Red Snapper with coconut milk and mango risotto and the orange beurre blanc. Well, I've always really been passionate about cooking. Um, my grandfather was actually a cook on the Merchant Marine ships and so he always cooked for us, you know, at family meals. And um, a lot of my favorite memories are from the dishes that he used to prepare for us. So it was kind of natural that I went into cooking. Mm -hmm. 